Morning. This is our MetaPower Accountability Support Group. And let me pin myself here. So it's a handful of things I wanted to share. Um, I spoke with my doTERRA account manager yesterday and he was he told me his story of um, how his experience has gone so far using MetaPower. It's been since September 9th, he said, and he has type one diabetes. So he's insulin dependent. He has the sensor that tells him like exactly what his blood sugars are doing on his phone. And he also has an insulin pump that he has to compute um, exactly how many carbohydrates he's gonna intake and how many sugars. So, um, I mean, he's been doing that his whole life. And he's on, he's been on a weight loss journey since last year. So um, he's lost 80 pounds since last September and um, not using MetaPower, just walking more and making better choices with his eating. But he said um, every day, like when he gets home from work from doTERRA, which is like five o'clock, he leaves work and he would walk uh, the two block radius around doTERRA um, campus, which is 3.7 miles. And he said, he just get home and he just takes a shower, puts his jammers on and that's it. Which I think is the story for a lot of people <clears throat> that you get home and you're like, that's it, I'm done. Sweatpants time and Netflix. <laughs> And I can say, yes, that's true for me too, which was actually earlier in the day, maybe like three, I'm like done, I'm toast. Um, and he's had the same experience as me as now we're like in the afternoon, we still have like more pep. We still have clarity. Um, we're not like our brain isn't completely fried and there's still like more juice. There's, <laughs> there's more gas in the tank. You get more things done. Um, and I don't feel like I want to sit down. Like, I'm like, I still have things I want to get done. And that in turn has helped my self-esteem um, because I mean, it's not great, but my, um, a lot of my self-esteem comes from achieving things throughout the day. Um, but I'm so, yeah, it does make me feel better about myself. I'm able to get more done. So did you want to share any ladies here? You want to share? Hi. <clears throat> well, I'm still getting through, I guess, all the detox or I don't know what I'm dealing with right now because <clears throat> I have um, a lot of pain and I'm tired. So I was looking through emotions or I still have to do a, a lot of work with that. Mm -hmm. I just haven't felt that the other side <laughs> Um of feeling energized and really good yet. I don't know. I don't know what, what's blocking it. Would you like some suggestions? Sure. I saw on um, Natalie Rigby's support group for MetaPower. I can add you to it. It's called Wellness Club 2. Wellness Club 2.0. It's on Facebook. Um, and other people were adding in Zendocrine to help like hasten the the liver detoxing because mm -hmm. it is releasing a lot of stuff um, so the capsules or the oil the the white bottle the zendrokin complex the complex one oh, okay yeah because that's going to help like like soften and support the organs mm -hmm. um, and i don't remember is that one three times a day we'll have to look at the dosage i would just be doing it in the morning Okay. So that, you know, you can, cause I wouldn't take it before bed. Cause then you'll be peeing all night. You know, all right. Mm -hmm. I want to avoid the, the peeing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, let me grab my essential emotions book because I was going to look and see what it says about meta power. I have the new, the new book. What's right here. Is this the new one? Yes. It's the 11th edition. I think, I think they might have updated it in the app as well. So let me go to M. Just wondering, you know, cause when we physically detox, I think emotionally it stirs up things as well, which kind of like the vicious cycle, like goes back into the physical symptoms. 
they go hand in hand. Yeah. So meta power is for body acceptance. Meta power addresses the underlying emotional patterns which contribute to one's body size, shape, and self-perception. This blend seeks to return individuals to emotional regulation and physical homeostasis. Individuals in need of meta power may have repeatedly set strict standards for themselves in diet or weight loss programs. They believe that by controlling their bodies, they can force their desired result. Instead, their punitive withholding often results in backlash from the body as it desperately seeks to survive. The craving for certain foods can become excessive, resulting in dramatic swings in diet, weight, and mood. This usually leads to discouragement and feeling out of control as individuals berate themselves with criticism or self-hatred. Metapower can support individuals in releasing the heavy emotions and self-blame, which contribute to physical and emotional pounds. Alternatively, individuals may, may be trapped in cycles or of perpetually withholding nourishment because of a distorted self-image, resulting in physical and emotional deprivation. This blend can help them return to loving, nurturing, and honoring their body and treating it with the respect it deserves. It also supports them in discovering feelings of self-worth that aren't skewed by perfectionism or outside approval. As individuals learn to accept their body as it is, the body can more easily move toward its ideal expression. Metapower encourages individuals to rise above self-judgment by embracing the body's natural beauty and inherent values, regardless of weight or appearance. Very interesting. Hmm. Have do you have you had so you've had the headaches you said you mentioned the other day but you said you're having pain right now. Yeah, so I haven't had a headache after the other day that I talked to you, but um, at the end of the day at night I'm just really tired that I could barely move. I I hardly have energy. I'm like so tired or in so much pain. Where is the pain? Um in my legs mainly it's like a heavy tight feeling um well it's just all the it's just achy pain achiness sick pain like sore like when Um, you have blue kind of feeling kind of sore it's just aches where aches almost want to cry hmm does it make, what would the word that makes you want to cry? Like it makes you feel like hopeless? Um, exhausted would be something I could say or drained, okay. drained. Is there a judgment on your, like how tired you feel? Like what is your judgment on yourself? Um, I don't know, maybe that I shouldn't be as tired. I don't know. Okay. I was just wondering, I'm, I'm not like trying to, you know, like, (laughs) but I know that when I feel tired, I tend to feel bad about myself. Like I, something I did wrong. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Like, what did I do wrong to get this where I am kind of feeling? Yeah. So I guess, no, I don't. I don't really feel that way. Okay. And it just kind of sneaks up on me because like at six, seven, I might still be going ho. And like yesterday I went for a little walk, but then my legs started hurting because I know you don't have that knee problem. And I had to come yeah. back. Like like a, the willingness for me is there to do more, but then my body stops me. So I had to come back and that really sets me back where afterwards I was really tired and um, thankfully I did take a couple of the deep blue capsules and, um, that relieved me and I was able to go to sleep. That's good. But it's pretty intense pain. I'm going to look up legs. So I'm going to go through the essential emotions. Is, is that okay? Yeah. 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 I was actually doing that this morning. <laughs> did you look up legs? Yes, I did. And it makes sense. Why? Do you, want to, do, you, do you want to read it or you want me to read it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Read it. So, 
Did you read it out loud with your voice? Yeah, the affirmations. Mm -hmm. Legs. Moving forward or making changes may have to do with feeling stable, family relationships. Did the, any of those make sense? Yeah, yeah, it all makes sense. Um, the emotion that I felt the most was unsupported. Okay. So it says uh, fearful, change, resisting, panic, bitter, self-acceptance, and unsupported. Um, what about the look deeper questions? Do I have a past experience with trauma of some form that I have not fully processed through? Do I have unprocessed hurt with my family? Do I feel supported in moving forward? Yeah, I think I need to do some journaling and, and get some of that stuff out. Yeah. The, should I, I can share my screen to see the essential. Mm -hmm. That's the right one. But that question, do I feel supported in moving forward? That one um, triggers. Is it, so the answer is no. Right. Mm, I think I have the PDF in this here. Sorry, I'm looking for it. Hmm. Okay, is this the right one? Yeah. So did you pick an oil when you went through this? earlier um unsupported yeah i think it was um cedar wood i had that one handy but arbor vitae is another one that um it mentioned on here okay and so they were all the the woodsy ones okay so you did you so you picked it up yeah let me let me see if i find arbor vitae um I think I have that one in the kitchen, but I have cedar wood right here. Okay. Let me find unsupported. Cedar wood and arbor vitae. I have birch if you want it. Maybe we should make a roller. Um. Yeah, sure. I don't, yeah, because I don't have birch. Do you, do you happen to have your book close by? Um, I have the app right here with me. Okay, so under unsupported, um, if you would, if you would read those. Um, hold on, because I'm trying to go back and it's stuck. Oh. So if we were filling out the worksheet, um, you would just write the oils that you felt like your brain was like those ones, or if you had them handy and you were smelling them and you were like, oh yeah, that's the right one. Some people, they go with the one they're repelled by, mm -hmm. and that can be avoidance of feelings and long, a very, a long time of unwillingness to look at um, a neuroses. A neuroses is, um, is a, it's kind of like if we were given a map of a point of view of how life should be. And then when someone tries to tell us like your map is wrong and that's not like the, that's not the correct point of view. It's like, we have to, we have to be willing to be like, okay, I'm going to write a new map. <laughs> which I know you're a the type of person who's willing to, you know, to look at, to look at the differences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I am flexible, but I could see that in me, like um, a certain w point of view or having things the way that they should be. And then they're not, and then that's throwing me off. <laughs> yeah. Like mm -hmm. That, that book I was reading over the weekend, let me turn this off. It's called uh, The Road Less Traveled by um, Dr. Beck, Scott Beck. 
And he was saying that when we are raised to not trust our parents, like there's things that our parents do that like as a child to avoid pain, we decide they're not trustworthy. And by doing that, you avoid disappointment and, and hurt. And then as a person grows up, um, they never thought to themselves, I don't trust my parents. They thought to themselves, I don't trust people. And not being able to trust other people with our feelings um, makes it really hard to change our point of view. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So that's just like one example of like a neuroses and having to look and see like, oh, that was because I was hurt by my family and it doesn't translate it as my adult life, you know, that other people can be trusted mm -hmm. and that I can, you know, make, I can confront, you know, new things that can work in a family dynamic and with friends and relationships. Wow. That's deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I read, I read it's real. It's a really worth a good read. It's called um, the road less traveled by Dr. Scott Peck. Mm -hmm. And um, he just says, he, he shows you the patterns that happen from young ages and what it looks like the behaviors of that adult adult that went through that. And you're like, I've never heard anybody explain it this way and it's so makes sense <laughs> like i have to look into it you just grasp the concept so well and are able to explain it so that means you you got it <laughs> that's good it has to be from a good teacher for me to get it if if i don't get it then i'm like you didn't explain that right and then i'll have to make my own analogy and then it usually involves poop <laughs> 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 well <laughs> okay so the Arbor Vitae and Cedarwood for sure. Um, the emotion you said was unsupported um, and you said it was exhaustion and pain in your legs. Mm -hmm. And then the, the look deeper, it would be, I have, did it, did it end up being coming up on your phone? Yeah. So the, the emotion for look deeper is what is interfering with me trusting the process of life? What will it take for me to receive the support I need? Yeah. You could probably write a list, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what will it take? But just asking the question, I don't need to know the answer. It's just putting it out there and for the universe to show that to me. Yeah. That's so as long as I get the question out and then I can declare, I can now accept that I am perfectly supported in every moment. So what That's I would it. do here is where you would take the oils in your hands and then you would breathe it in four deep breaths. And then after that, you would, you would say them out loud. Looking for cedar cedar wood because I want to do it too. I can accept that I am perfectly supported in every moment. I need Arbor Vitae. I really like that one. Mm -hmm. Is there an image? Well, because I mean, I know that you're a you know a follower of Jesus Christ. If, if, like, if you were to imagine when you're saying that out loud, that I can now accept that I am perfectly supported in every moment, it's kind of like you're, it's a prayer. It's, it's saying your will, not mine. Mm -hmm. You know, like you're going to live in God's will today kind of thing. And like, no, like, Hey, like, this is the person I trust the most. Right. Like, yeah. I trust Jesus the most, <laughs> but does yeah. that help? Yeah, um, I, there was another, uh, let me see, 
somewhere else I, I read where it said, um, trusting that everything works out in my life or in my favor. I know that that's, that's an affirmation that I like to say, everything works out for me um, or everything works out in my favor, everything. And it's totally true, right? <laughs> if I say that, right, and feel it. <laughs> Even the worst situations, it if it take it takes time and things do work out. Yeah. Just the the patience thing. Okay. Well, I think that that going through um, and thank you for sharing your feelings and going through your process because I know that as we're you know working on making commitments to change in in our bodies, like metabolism wise, like we're also like the body keeps score um, and the issues are in the tissues. So like as we're changing physiologically and biologically, it's also working in where we have stored emotion. So um, thank you for, for sharing with everyone. Cause it's like, you know, we're all learning and yeah. it, it makes us feel safe in this process, knowing like what to expect, like, having stuff come up, you know, that's old and stored. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's time to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Um, that was helpful. So that was one of the things I wanted to chat about. The other was some people are, they're like, oh, I can't buy the meta power till November because when you type it in, in doTERRA's website, it'll say, like, it'll bring up all the individual products and will say coming soon. Um, and that means you can only buy the kit of MetaPower at this time altogether. And you can start buying individual products as of November 1st. But I noticed that the price of the MetaPower kit and the convention kit are the same price. So if you're going to get, get it still in October, just get the convention kit. Cause you're getting like 12 more products. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense to, to get the meta power kit when you can get the convention kit that has the meta power system in it and all the other stuff. Um, so I had it right here, the convention kit, and it's got the on guard hand sanitizer and it's got the three different products of the super mint, which when I have felt really tired, I don't, I don't know if you use this one yet, but when I'm tired, if I roll that on, maybe roll it on your knees. Um, that, that like really helps me kind of like perk up, mm -hmm. um, for energy. And then, then all those other oils that I used that guayac wood last night in my diffuser, it totally smells like bacon and sweet potatoes. It does smell like food. It does. <laughs> have you diffused it yet? I have. Yeah, I have it. I'm diffusing it right now. As a matter of fact, oh. um, I read one of your posts and it's so interesting. Yeah, um, that, that lady, Desiree, what's her name? She changed her last name since she got a divorce, um, but she's the acupuncturist lady. Um, but yeah, she talks a lot about the messages, like the, the, what, what actual message is being channeled through the oils. And I read it last night when I reposted it and she was talking about the guayac wood being, um, like a powerful manifester. And if you want something to change or something to come into your future, like be really specific. Um, so I, I, I used that last night. I'm like, okay because I'm finishing editing my book and it's all going to be published and copyrighted and the ease in which I want that to happen. So that was what I did with mine um, last night. But yeah, it totally yeah. smelled like food to me. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, very cool. And uh, um, the Spanish sage, that one is supposed to be really great for focus. But what I've been using it for is I mix it with rosemary and Spanish sage in my big diffuser in my house. And um, it keeps the house smelling like clean, like wet, like like it rained in the desert <laughs> kind of smell. 
Yeah. Um, it smells good. Animals. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying the, the, the hand sanitizer. I'm not one to really use hand sanitizer. I use the, the, the mist. Yeah. But that one, it has a really nice finish to it. I really enjoy it. I haven't even opened mine yet, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, no, it feels really good. I like okay. it. I'll put it in my purse so that um, I use it. Well, I just came back from traveling, so I had I took it with me, and that was really okay. handy. Well, it smells good. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine being at the airport, you want everything you can get. Yeah, but the texture of it, I really like it. It doesn't, it's not sticky or anything. Oh, yeah, it's like silky. Mm-hmm doesn't feel like it's super drying I wonder if there's alcohol in it yeah there is it's 70 percent but it doesn't feel like yucky or anything mm -mm. the other oils that come in this convention kit the other ones in here I'm gonna open this box okay the Meta Power one I use the most. And, you know, this is a reformulation from Slim and Sassy. And I did not like Slim and Sassy. I could not drink it like how I can drink the Meta Power blend in, in, the, in water. And I kind of crave it. Like I want it in the afternoon. Yeah, it goes down easily. The other one was yuck. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. I, I had to take it in capsules. Yeah, yeah, too strong. So I started reading um, there that Natalie Rigby, she had a bunch of recommendations for um, books to learn about blood sugar and metabolism. So I picked one and I put it on my phone. I can tell you which one, um, but I guess I didn't understand how to track your blood sugars throughout the day and what are the symptoms that you would experience. Um, so if, if your blood sugar goes crazy while you're sleeping, when you wake up, you'll feel unrested. And many times I've, I've woken up and been like, why do I feel bad? And I didn't know the correlation between my blood sugar doing a roller coaster thing in my sleep. Um, and that's part of the reason why the MetaPower products are supporting people for sleep. Um, so what I've decided to do now that I have extra product, cause I ordered extra, um, I'm taking, the meta power assist in the morning and I'm taking the meta power assist before I go to bed. Um, so if you're only going to take it once a day, I, I would recommend doing it before you go to bed, <laughs> especially if you have trouble sleeping and, um, you've experienced like where you wake up and you're, and you're still tired. So that probably means your blood sugar is going like this. So, um, that's something I've noticed, but I'm, I'm choosing to take it twice a day because I'm a brat and I can. So, um, oh, but what I was going to tell you about my account manager, um, cause he has type one diabetes. So, um, you know, he's tracking it. He can see everything on his phone and on his, um, his insulin meter. So since he's been taking the meta power assist, usually if he eats a yogurt, which has like X amount of carbohydrates and X amount of sugars in it, he has to up his insulin. He, like he has to input that, but what he's noticed is that he doesn't have to do anything now. Like his body is maintaining the insulin better without, without having to add extra insulin for a snack. Um, so now he's down to a smaller amount of insulin per day. He said it used to be like 1.7 mil and now it's down to like, like one per hour. Like it, it automatically regulates it for him. That's what he said. So it's like one mil per hour instead of 1.7. And then, I mean, what that means for him is his body for long-term damage as he ages um, is going to be so much less, you know, I think it's really cool for him. And um, I, I, I find it very interesting. I, I'm not brave enough to get that, that sensor thing put in my arm where you have to like puncture it and then put a bandaid on it so you can track your sugar on your phone. If you're not squeamish, then by all means, try it. But I, I don't think I can handle it, <laughs> but I think it'd be cool. I do have the little needles. So the, um, the package, 
Um, I just okay. haven't taken it out, but I've been curious to check my blood sugar level in the morning too. But um, yeah, it's the one that you have to poke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't be able to do that. Not at all. <laughs> Though it's not, it doesn't stay in your body. You just poke it every time. I know. So, I, I couldn't do it in a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not something I'm looking forward to, but I am curious. So I think I'll have to get out my little kit and, and try it. Yeah. And how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to keep reading this book. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the name of it is. Here, I'll, I'll look and see what it is in my phone. Um, I have the iPhone and I just have the, the book app that I read things in. It's called Glucose Revolution. Let me pull it up on my shared screen. And the author? Jesse in in Inchapesse. I don't know what nationality that is. Let's see. Glucose revolution. Let's see if she has a website here. You're on the worksheet. So oh. if you want to switch it over. Yeah, let me stop share. Stop share. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it now. So um, I might recommend you get the paper get paperback version because I got it on my phone and the wording doesn't adapt to where I can change the font size. It's just like a PDF page. So mm -hmm. I think it would be easier to read in a physical copy. But yeah, she is, she's really um, great at explaining like the symptoms to look for so that you can start making better food combinations for your personal physiology. So um, I'll stop sharing. But I mean, from the beginning of what doTERRA says is don't, don't change your diet, just follow, be consistent with the MetaPower for the first, I'd say a couple of months because it's too many changes for a person you know, it's, it's like too hard. That's why, why people stop doing, you know, diets and things like that. So just following this and then, and then when you feel like when you've got the energy and you're feeling better, you can, you're motivated to kind of start looking at, okay, well, how can I track, you know, my symptoms better and how can I start eating better? Because what I've noticed is I've started doing like what, what every American probably would do is Oh, if I eat pizza, then I could just take MetaPower and it'll even it out. <laughs> like, just pop a pill. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll just take a pill and it'll be fine. Cause I like, I'll be like, oh, I want peach pie, but I should probably take MetaPower before. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I, I'm, I'm wasting my money. Like, you know, by taking extra when I could just be you know, exploring my actual like blood sugar stuff and then taking the product at the appropriate times. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I just started doing a tiny workout yesterday. So I only did like 10 minutes. Yeah. Gradual changes, but yeah, uh, hopefully that, you know, we incorporate these changes into our life and I could see myself um, choosing better foods, like craving healthier foods now. Yeah. And feeling like, oh, like, no, I don't want to have that anymore. Something that's you know, not as good for me. Um, but I started taking half the, the, the pack of the collagen. Uh -huh. um, I thought, well, maybe it's too much for me. Because I did hear somebody else say, you know, that they're taking half a dose. So mm -hmm. um, what I'm doing right now is okay. like, hey, maybe it's too much change for my body. Um, like scale so it back so you can detox slower. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just doing half of a pack. That's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, also, you could do um, like drinking more, more water um, and looking at, you know, like higher fiber so you can like poop it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a good choice. More pooping. <laughs> For sure. Well, um, was there? Do you have any other questions that we should talk about? 
No, um, I think that's good for today. That was a lot. There's, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of those emotions and journaling that I have to do. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. coming. I'm glad we were able to do our emotion session, even if it was in the med power group. <laughs> <laughs> it all works. It's all good. Yeah. It's all this. I mean, it's, it's always going to come back to that, right? <laughs> exactly. We're working on this one way or another. So thank you. Love you. I'll okay. See you Love you too, Kim. Bye-bye.